What's up guys, my name is Timbo and welcome back to Destiny. Now, as PSX is approaching near and near by the second, everyone that, you know, still cares about Destiny is waiting to see what Bungie might reveal. Now obviously we know that Sparrow Racing League will be making a return, however, the amount of content coming with this update is unknown. Bungie had said that there will be something for the player that doesn't enjoy Sparrow Racing in the update, whatever the hell that means, you know, but I mean, however, you know, looking at other events in the game like Crimson Doubles and Festival of the Lost, while remaining optimistic, you know, I find it more likely that this so-called something is just some rehashed quest or story mission that will take like an hour or less to complete. Some speculate that information or a tease of Destiny 2 might be revealed, but I don't really see that happening either as much as I'd like it to. You know, we're kind of in a dry spell in the game right now that seems like it's hitting harder than it usually does, and that is for a number of clear reasons, one in particular that I'm going to be getting into in a future video coming up, um, but of what I've been hearing about Destiny 2 is that it will most likely be coming out in September of 2017, which is an entire goddamn year after Rise of Iron came out. The live team in between uh, the time of the Taken King and Rise of Iron wasn't really able to hold players off with their little updates of content from here and there, which to me kind of showed that the whole Dark Below House of Wolves scheme was probably better and with Rise of Iron being an even smaller experience than what the Taken King was, I, I really just can't see it lasting an entire year. Especially with this even worse job of delivery this time around, as of right now, you know, with the abysmal cash grab that was Festival of the Lost. As a large majority of the team is now working on Destiny 2, and have been since the Taken King came out over a year ago. For me personally, there are three things that can happen at this point in time. The best for me is that Destiny 2 is revealed at PSX and comes out much earlier than September in like March or some shit. Destiny completely dies out as there's literally nothing, no incentive to do anything in the game anymore. Or Bungie's live team actually comes through for their game's community and is able to deliver enough good content until Destiny 2 releases. In an attempt to disregard the most likely second option, I don't know whether the first or the third option is most likely to happen, you know, out of those two specifically. Um, if it happens to be door number one and we get a satisfying Destiny 2 that is everything we hoped for and more earlier than we expected, then, then great. But if door number three ends up happening, you know, what could that be? Honestly, you've seen the title of the video and you clicked on it, so you know where I'm going with this, but I'd like to keep you on your toes. Bringing back the old raids such as the Vault of Glass, Crota's End, and maybe King's Fall? I don't know if that really counts as an old raid as much, but regardless, uh, that makes so much sense for so many reasons. First of all, you know, it would be easy as hell just raising the light and all this stuff. It would also make sense in the lore that they could just, you know, sievify everything. Um, with some cool new ornaments for them, maybe, and they could reskin all the old weapons and gear. Which, if there's something that Bungie likes to do, it's reskinning shit. This has been something that has been brought up by Destiny players for quite a while now, and since Prison of Elders' light was raised and was takenified last year, and the fact that Bungie just don't give two shits and is handing out high end loot just left and right now basically participation trophies you know it seems like this is the best time to do it right before destiny 2 comes out making all of this irrelevant anyways as we will be getting a fresh start it just seems like this is the right thing to do and is something that will bring players back in my opinion at least obviously i think that this is a good idea but for those of you smexy people who are still watching the video what do you think should bungie bring back the old raids yes or no and if so how do you think they should do it to increase the longevity of the game before Destiny 2. My suggestions might not be the best to really, you know, entice players for a long time because I didn't mention any fundamental changes in the mechanics of the raids, but looking at it from Bungie's perspective, basing it on what they've done in the past uh, and, you know, the amount of people that they have, you know, working on this stuff, that outcome just seemed most likely to me. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, if you could please leave me a positive rating, it would be greatly appreciated. Leave a comment down below of your opinion on this topic. 
Make sure to share this video with your fellow Guardians to get the word out. Uh, and for future Destiny content, subscribe. But that's all I got, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.